Okay, so now let me step it up a little and teach you how to create multiple subscription levels. Let's first go back over to our admin dash. And what we want to do is go into the plugins section under installed plugins. Because here we're going to activate the two other plugins called groups and groups WooCommerce. And once we do, we'll see that we have a new option on the left side called groups. Let me introduce you to this basically. What we do here is we have a way to create a new group of people who will have cap capabilities that allow them to view, or for that matter, not be able to view certain content on your site, whether it be a page or a post or even stuff within a page or a post. This also works with any kind of post type. So it'll work with WooCommerce products or subscription products, etc. Now, the way that you can do this manually is a little tedious to be quite frank but there's also an automatic way so I'm going to show you the manual way first and then I'm going to show you the automatic way now what we want to do is we first have to do a sort of bounce back and we have to decide what do we want to call this second level of membership remember we first uh, or in the first lesson we created the basic on and off whether you're a subscriber or not but now we can do different types of uh, groups or different types of subscription levels or capabilities and this would mean let's say we're going to do um, premium and super premium just for the heck of it right so first thing we're going to do manually is to create a new group so we click the new group button and let's call this premium and you don't have a parent here and we don't need a description but you could put in something that says this is the premium level doesn't matter now capabilities we don't do because we don't have them yet so we have to click add the group first I told you this was a little tedious then we go to capabilities and now we click to create a new capability which we'll also call premium because again we don't need to worry about what this does there's no actual WordPress capabilities or functionality attached to this just like when we modified the users role and added that one called paid subscriber this is just to differentiate between people it's not to give them any superpowers so we're going to add this new capability now that we have that capability once that ad is saved just waiting for my server you can do it you can do it this is on my testing server, which is on a very, very low powered uh, account. So sometimes it takes a second. Come on, the little engine that could. Some of you might experience this too. It's funny, but when I'm developing, I like to do these things live, obviously for the demo and the tutorial, but um, if you're on a, a shared reseller server, sometimes it's blazing fast and other times it can be slow. It might not have anything to do with you. It might just have to be with who else is on the server. Okay, now we have to do one other thing before we bounce back to groups. We have to go to options and we have to add this new capability in here. Actually, it popped itself in there, which was nice and convenient. Premium is there. If it's not there, just type the word premium in this case. And we're adding this capability into the uh, core functionality of the groups plugin to restrict or enforce read access on various post types okay and we want to save that so we scroll down and save and now we want to make sure we go back to the groups and it should if it's not in here let's just delete it if it's not in here whoops I'm sorry that's not what I wanted to do we want to I'm sorry click on the edit link for the premium group that we just created and we want to now choose the capability, which is premium. Whew. I told you it's tedious. It was going to be tedious for you to watch this. You're going to probably watch this three times. It was tedious for me to do it. But you know, that's the neat thing about it, because this has been made easier. But let me show you why uh, the result is still good. So if we do it the manual way, and we go back over to, let's say, our resource library, where we'll remember before, when we were not logged in, we wanted to limit people's access and it gave the message yo please join to see this stuff well now we got a nuclear option so when we edit this page a new meta box appears up here called access restrictions and here if we type in or click on it we can see we want to enforce uh, restrictions on reading this to anybody who has the premium level of access and everybody else other than the administrator be damned you're not going to get to see this page. And even better, it's not even like it was when we're using the role restriction where it gives you a nice little warning message. This is nuclear. So watch what happens. 
If I go back over to this non-logged in page and I reload it now, watch what happens. Oh my God, 404? It's like the page never existed. Okay, now to me, this is obviously a problem. It should be a problem to you as well because it's not really what's going on. We want people to know that, hey, there's something else you can do here and it doesn't mean that the page is broken or missing. So the plugin developer has obviously had enough input from people and they said, hey, we need a better way to solve this than just nuke the page. So there's another plugin that is a feature that works with groups. So let's add that in by going to plugins, add new. And this plugin is available in the free uh, WordPress repository. It's called groups 404 redirect. We search it out, we install it now, and what this basically does is gives you the option to redirect those 404 messages that are derived from groups to something more productive. So we go over here to settings, groups, 404, and now we can redirect. Now, if you remember, we had a cool little shop page that was created by um, WooCommerce. And in this case, that shop page might be very handy to redirect people to because that's where they'll see a product that they could potentially buy that will give them access. Alternatively, you could create another type of page that says something groovy like, hey, we love to have you as a member and here's what it's all about and here's what you can buy. And then you can have links on that page to your shopping cart or to check out directly. So whichever way you end up doing it, let's just say you need to uh, first create that page or choose an existing page and we have to use the ID number. So this isn't the name or the URL, it's the ID. So let's open up our all pages area in a new tab and I'll show you what we need to get. Remember, we are gonna put people over to our shop page where we have a list of all products. And here, if I roll my mouse over at the bottom, way down here, you can see post equals 21, okay? And that's kind of cool because that's basically telling me that's the page that I need to direct people to if uh, we're using the groups restriction. So let's go back to that 404 plugin. We're gonna type in 21 and now we're gonna save it. And the status code in this case, I'm gonna leave it as a moved permanently because for all intents and purposes in building the site, that's what I wanna have happen. Once this plugin's enabled and whenever anybody is restricted, I wanna send them over to the shop page and I, would love to have that indexed as well if that's necessary. Okay, so now let's go back over to our logged out page and see how that changes things. We have to reload the page. We might even need to go to another. Uh, oh, actually it worked right out of the box. I love that. So here's again what happened when I try to go over to the resource library and I'm not logged in, watch what happens. It now directs me to the shop page where I can see, hey, there's something I can buy to get in. Now, let's do that other option, just so you're clear. If I made a different type of a page that was more descriptive. So let's say add new, you need to subscribe. Let's do, yo, you need to subscribe to get this uh, resource. You need to first, I don't know. Go to our shop page and pick a subscription. I'm just making this up, it doesn't matter. You could put a link in there. You could, for example, um, insert a page link. I don't know what we got here. Let's do it this way. href equals shop. Actually, in order to use that, I gotta be on the text editor. Let's make sure I don't confuse you. That's better. Okay. And if we publish this, we're going to go ahead and again, go back to the all pages, get that ID number. I think that one's called yo. There it is. And we roll my mouse over and it says post number 39, right down at the bottom there. Post 39. So if we go ahead and change this to 39, let's see how that works. And go to our logged out set up here and we're going to reload the page now let's click on the resource library and by the way when we finally set this up we won't have a direct link to that page of course click on resource library 
and now it sends us over to the yo you need to subscribe page where we get more details and a link so hopefully you've been following about about what's happening here is that we have now made it that the resource library page that we set up and let's go back there page all page resource so this resource library page we set it up that the groups plugin now will only allow somebody who has premium access to see it and everyone else will be redirected with the groups 404 plugin to a page we created that gives descriptions about what our services or products are and how they can click to buy access via one of the things that's offered through our shop or through our subscription links. Now, remember I told you there was a hard way to do it, which we did, and now there's the easy way. Let's do our second level of uh, access the easy way, right? So now all we need to use is this quick create box. So we go right to the content page that we want to start with. And we can do this just one time because once we've created it, it's ready to go. And thereafter, it'll be available on any other pages that we want to restrict access. But here, let's call this one uh, super premium. All right, let's call it super bad even, okay? So watch what happens. Here I just hit enter <laughs> and we're done. Now I click update. Was that awesome or what? Okay, so now just to prove that it's there, we'll go back over to the groups and now if we see if there's a new group, there should be one called, yeah super bad and there's a capability called whoops let's see if it's there we may need to just double check well it's in there what's interesting is that there's no capability in here but maybe it doesn't need it i've never actually checked on why that is so just to be sure i'm going to add that capability in just want to make sure Perhaps when you use the quick create method, which I've never checked on, you don't need the extra capability, but it's not going to hurt anything by adding it. Let's make sure my server is not torturing me. Okay, let's see if it's in there. Let's try it again. Interesting. Well, I'm assuming for the sake of argument, since this is not allowing me to save it, that when we use the quick create, and forgive me, even I sometimes get surprised with these updated plugins, that you probably don't need to do it because it does seem to be in the most important part, which is in the options. Now, let's just go over here and double check. If we go back over to our page that we've been working with, which is, which is the resource library page. We should be able to get the same result if we remove the premium and just leave super bad, update it. We should have the same result here. And we go to the logged out page and we go back and try to reaccess the resource library. And sometimes what you have to do is clear the page and it works just fine. So it redirects just like before. So now we've created two different groups, right? Each of which could represent a different pay point. So how do we make the pay point happen? Well, that we're going to address in the next lesson, which is bringing it all together with WooCommerce. I'll see you in a couple of minutes. So until then, this is Spence, the evil genius, and I'll see you next time.